An index pattern defines which Elasticsearch indices Kibana should retrieve its data from. Suppose that we have an index named Orders, containing order data. Now we want to create a number of Kibana visualizations for this index. This could be a line or a bar chart showing the number of orders over time, and a pie chart showing the most popular products. For each of the visualizations, we need to tell Kibana which Elasticsearch indices it should retrieve the data from. Instead of entering the name of an index, we create an index pattern. That's because storing data in multiple indices is a common approach in Elasticsearch, and so we want a more flexible approach. An index pattern matches one or more Elasticsearch indices with a pattern that optionally includes wildcards. Since we just have a single index in this example, we can just enter the name of the index as the pattern, i.e. orders. We then choose this index pattern when creating the visualizations, causing data to be retrieved from any indices that match the index pattern. In this case, there would just be the orders index. Although we only have a single index containing orders, we might as well add a wildcard at the end, just in case we need to split the orders data into multiple indices in the future. If that happens, we won't need to modify the index pattern as everything will work the same automatically. Let's see an example of just that for a different dataset. Suppose that we have three indices storing HTTP access logs, one index per month. That's because we are running a busy website and so storing all of the access logs within a single index does not scale well enough. This approach is referred to as time series data, which is a common use case for the Elastic stack. Using time-based indices means that we can't just specify an index name explicitly, because there's more than one and they have different names. I'm sure you guessed that the solution is to use an index pattern with a wildcard. The index names should then follow some kind of naming scheme that matches this pattern. That can be as simple as increasing a number by one, or, as in this case, using a date. With the index pattern you see on your screen now, we can match our three indices and any that might be added later. When we create our visualizations with this index pattern, Kibana will construct Elasticsearch queries that search through all indices matching the pattern. Using wildcards in index patterns is therefore a way of dealing with time series data that's divided into multiple indices. This enables us to work with the data as if it came from a single index, even though several indices are queried within Elasticsearch. Pretty cool, right? For clarity, I should mention that index patterns are not specific to visualizations. They are used throughout Kibana when we need to access underlying Elasticsearch data. Okay, so now that you know what an index pattern is, let's create one. That's actually required before we can interact with our data within Kibana. Let's expand the menu and click Stack Management at the bottom. Then click Index Patterns in the second menu that appears within the Kibana group. And then click the button. First, we need to define a pattern to match our indices, being one of the patterns that you saw in the example a moment ago. Let me just type that out. In case you didn't notice, Kibana automatically adds a wildcard once you start typing, because that's often how you will use index patterns, instead of specifying the name of a single index. Kibana checks if the pattern matches any index names. It matches the index that was created when we imported our test data, so everything looks good. Let's continue to the next step. The last thing we need to do is to specify the date field that Kibana should use when filtering documents based on time. In our case, we have a field named addTimestamp, which is the timestamp of when a given request was received. That's the one we'll use, so let's go ahead and select it. There's nothing else we need to do, so let's go ahead and create the index pattern. Once the index pattern has been created, Kibana inspects the mapping of the matching indices. Within the table, we can see the list of fields along with their data types and how we can use them. 
This is basically the field mappings presented within a user interface, along with how the fields can be used. That's all there is to index patterns really.